We have recently purchased a new water jet from Flow, and today is day one of install. For the past two weeks, we've been clearing out this entire space, making room for it. Back and now, video what it used to look like. <laughs> and the wheel is nowhere to be found. This area was a mess. Seeing it this clean is, it's shocking. But we've already got a couple components in here. We've got the pump over there. We've got our new hopper right here. We've got some utility connections there. And uh, yeah, now we just need to get like a water jet here. <laughs> so about a week ago, all of the parts got delivered here in a bunch of giant crates and we had to unload it all. It's so big. Everything on there is ours and that's not even all of it yet. And now the first step of the actual install is moving all of the components inside, but there are a couple that are really big and really awkward. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of show you the whole process of uh, getting a new water jet, what you have to go through, how long it actually takes to install it. And uh, then we can play around on our new water jet at the end. So uh, hope you guys enjoy. So this thing's about 16 feet long. That door's about 12 feet wide. <laughs> oh, Greg up. There you go. The two forklift shuffle. This is not the recommended method, but we're doing what we can with what we've got. Bridge is set in place. There's our five axis head. We've got the pump in place. The base is all bolted down and leveled. Hoppers in place. Good progress. Started day three. Yesterday we wanted to try and get the tank in. We weren't able to. Um, the installer wanted to do the first round of calibrations first. So the first thing to do today is bring the tank in and installing that. And then once that tank's in, we should be able to actually turn it on some point today. Started filling the tank 15 minutes ago, 10.45, how long do you think it'll take? Based on my calculations, it'll take a long time. Uh, I think I have to agree with that. One eternity later. It is now 4.30, so it took a lot of hours to get here. That's but now, silly. there's something that we've wanted to do from the very start and you can only do it with a brand new water jet that has clear water like this. Because the second we cut apart or run garnet through this, it just gets muddied up and you can't see through the water. So we want to put a this GoPro down here, look out there and then shoot the water jet and see if you can see exactly how far down into the tank it shoots before it breaks up. Yeah, see what happens. Yeah, because why not? Okay, ready when you are. 
Mitchell, you just ran our very own water jet. I just water jet it down. It's a little bit later in the evening, so we don't have as much light. So we've got our spotlights out. We're gonna try that again, see if we can get uh, that same shot, but a little less grainy maybe. These ones are the ones that are blocking it the most in the middle. Go pro. Dropped it. Your arms probably aren't long enough. <laughs> Close. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, left, to the left. Oh, left. I'm, oh, I touched it. I got it. <laughs> you did it. Second time in a row. I'm going to record this one with my phone underwater, too. Oh. That stream stays like pretty small all the way until it's the bottom and then it starts churning everything up. So naturally, mm -hmm. we need to find out if we can explode a watermelon at the bottom of the tank. How much strength does that stream still have after going through three feet of water? We've got our watermelon or our human head analog. He's just ignoring us. He, he thinks we're really weird. He keeps his headphones on. <laughs> How many people do this with their water jet right after you finish installing it? None. None. That's what I like to hear. He just said we're nobodies. <laughs> Watermelon floats, so we've uh, stuck these uh, rods through it and welded them to a plate that weighs 10 times more than it needs to. <laughs> Got it, Dan. So now we gotta try and drop this in the tank. Should get lighter as soon as it's underwater, right? Oh, I don't think it did. Just throw it right into position. Oh, there we go. And drop it all the way back to that. Yeah. Okay. Touch it? And you can see all the water going around it. And nothing. Wow. Did you even take off some green paint? We were doing water only. There's no abrasive in there. So with water only under about three feet of water, you would be safe. <laughs> Good luck with that, bro. He still wouldn't try it, <laughs> but. <laughs> We can try we can... just a little higher on that plate first. On the uh, the forklift the pocket. The forklift pocket. Uh, then we could go, you know, even higher up on this shelf or something. Fire in the hole! Yeah. We do have a little bit of a hole. Six inches higher and you'd be dead. So that's kind of the difference between safety and death is about that six inches. 
So now we've got it so that it is quite a bit higher, just barely below the surface. And we'll see if that will puncture all the way through to the bottom. And what happens to the watermelon? Yeah. I'm hoping for fleshy bits. Ah, oh, that was... <laughs> Fleshy bits. Definitely went all the way through. When it first started, you could see the jet stream like hitting the steel plate and coming out the side, so we know it went all the way through. Now we're gonna just cut a circle hole in it because why not? Because we do circles. We do circles. <laughs> Circle needs some work. <laughs> they can eat it like corn on the cob. Oh, seriously, man. That's a good one. <laughs> I think that's enough screwing around. James is probably wanting to finish this install. After four long days, we have a fully functioning flow water jet installed. This water jet... Um, it might punch you in the it stomach. It might punch you in the stomach, so... Yeah. I'm going to have to watch out for that one. <laughs> okay, there's one last test that needs to be done. What test would that be, Dan? You know. Yep, it's a water jet, all right. All five axes right here. Confirmed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that and learned plenty. If you want to see our skateboard wheel video, click right here. If you want to see what YouTube thinks you'll like, click right here. And if you want to subscribe, click right here.